All right, so welcome to our second chair yoga and mobility class for HD. So for those of you that are just tuning in that are new to this practice, we're going to breathe and move as much as we can in our pain-free range of motion. Anytime you need to take a break, feel free and just take a break. This is for you to explore your movement. We, our number one focus is to maintain whatever we can in terms of your health, your movement, and your cognition. So uh, anything else that happens as a bonus of that, if you increase your mobility, that's great, but at least we're gonna maintain what we already have. So for this practice, you'll need some sort of strap. So I think some of you at home already have one. So this is just a plain old yoga strap. You can use a belt like you'd wear around your waist. You can use a scarf or a band, anything that allows you to have space between your shoulders and pull in this motion. So you can go ahead and let this strap just rest over your lap so it's easy to access afterwards. And you can allow your back to just rest against the chair for a moment. All right. And if you feel comfortable, let your eyes relax. Good. And then take a moment just to shift your attention on how your breath is moving. So watch your breath as it comes in, and then watch your breath as it comes out. Very good. Feel your breath, and then feel your body. Relax your shoulders, relax yourself into the seat. And as you begin to focus on your breath, temporarily disconnect from the outside activities of your day. Letting go of any future activities, responsibilities, and becoming aware of your breath and of your body. Very good. Now, if you can, start to make your exhales a little bit slower. So with each exhale, you're feeling that lower part of your belly draw towards your spine. Inhale. And then exhale, draw the lower belly in towards your spine. You're gonna practice getting a little squeeze of the lower abdominals. Very good. Three more like that. Breathe in. And then breathe out. Very good. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. Good. In. And then out. Very good. And now I want you to sit your back a little bit away from the chair. See if you can sit enough forward that your spine can start to line itself up. You can keep your feet wider than your hips, okay, or even wider than that. Whatever feels solid with your feet on the floor. Okay, now completely exhale all the air out. As you inhale, sweep your hands together, interlace your fingers on the exhale, reach your hands out in front of you. Good. Now on the inhale, bend at your elbows, draw the back of your hands towards you. When you're ready to exhale, stretch your palms out. That's it. So we're going to get to know our wrists moving up to our shoulders. Inhale. 
and then exhale. Very good. Inhale, bend, draw back, exhale, stretch, and press. Very good. Two more in this round. Inhale, bend. Good, and then exhale, stretch, and then press your palms out, whatever pain-free range you have. One more time. Good, and then reach out. Okay, now once the arms are extended, as you inhale, try reaching them up. Good, and then exhale, float them down. Good, and then let your hands relax. Take a moment and move your shoulders. As you inhale, lift them up. Give them a squeeze to your ears. On the exhale, shrug them off. Good, again, inhale, lift and squeeze. Tighten your body and then relax your body. Good, try again. Lift on your breath in. Drop on your breath out. Good. One more time. Lift. Experience picking your shoulders up. And then exhale, dropping them down. Good. And then give them a roll back one at a time. Can you roll your shoulders back? Good. And then can you roll them forward? And you can let your spine wiggle and move. You're getting to know your shoulders today. You're feeling and tuning into your body and your breath. Good. All right. And then give a little break. Relax them. Okay. Very good. So now from here, we're going to start to synchronize one arm movement at a time. When you're ready to inhale, take one arm as high as it'll go. Inhale. Reach. Hold your breath. Exhale, lower it down. Good, and then switch. Inhale, reach. Hold. And then exhale, lower down. Very good. Try four more on each side. Inhale, arm reaches. Exhale, arm goes down. Good, switch your sides. Inhale, arm goes up. Exhale, arm goes down. Good, now try slowing your breath down. Can you inhale slow and reach an arm? Hold your breath in at the top. And then let it go. And let it relax. Very good, try the other side. Inhale, reach. Hold. And then exhale, let it go. Good. One more on each. Do that same slow breath in. Inhale, expand. Hold. Exhale it out. Switch your arm. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. Perfect, good. Now the arm is going to move out to your side. As you inhale, take one arm, bend at your elbow, look to your fingers, try to reach back. Good, and then on your exhale, sweep it back, relax it to your knee. And do the same thing to your other side. Inhale, opposite arm reaches. Look to your thumb as much as you can rotate. And then exhale, bring it back. Amazing. Again, inhale, elbow heavy, look, reach and stretch. Good. And then exhale, come across. Let it relax. Very good. Switch on your breath in. Inhale. And then exhale. 
Okay, three more on each arm. Work on lengthening your breath in and adding that hold. Take your time. When you're ready, one arm goes up as you're inhaling. Elbow heavy. Look to your arm. And then on your exhale, bring it back. Hold for about two to four seconds after you breathe in. Inhale. Exhale. That's it. So if you're a little bit slower, or a little bit faster, just keep going at your own speed. The inhale opens up your chest. Look to your thumb. And then exhale, let it sweep back, let it relax. Very good. Switch when you're ready. Inhale. Exhale. Good work. One more on each side. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Switch. In. Can you look and stretch and reach? And exhale. Very good. Now try both arms opening wide. Just like you were inhaling, pull the arms back, lift your chest upwards. Good. And then as you exhale, relax your palms down to your knees, round your back a little. Good. Again, inhale, palms turn up, little bend in your elbows. Can you reach back and stretch the front of your body? And then on your exhale, relax. Three more. Again, long breath in. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more time, take your time, take that full breath in. Try to lift your chest and pull back through your arms. Good, and then exhale. Rest your hands onto your knees. Good, give a little shrug with your shoulders, let them ease up. Any strain that gets built up, we're gonna loosen up as we go. Okay, so now motion through your spine a little bit more. I'm gonna switch my angle so you can see a little bit better. When you're ready to breathe in, I want you to pull back on your knees, stick your chest out and squeeze the space between your shoulders. Good, and then on your exhalation, round your back muscles, curl them towards your chair and relax your neck and your head. Good, again, inhale, move forward. Shoulders off your ears, try to squeeze the space between your shoulder blades and then on your exhale, round and curl. Good, three more. Inhale to go forward. Add that little hold. And then exhale to move back and round. Good. Inhale. Pull back on your knees if you can. Exhale. Curl and round. Wonderful. Try one more time. Can I move my spine forward? And then exhale, move my spine back. Good. And then inhale back to your center position. And exhale, let that go. All right. So we're going to try a similar sequence. This time we're going to incorporate our strap. So the strap that's sitting over your lap, you're going to take it up in front of you. It could be shoulder width or wider. If your shoulders feel very tight, you can keep it as wide as you need to. 
and then grip your strap, make two solid fists, and now pretend that you are ripping it in half. So you're pulling, good. And as you inhale, stretch your arms up. Good, hold. Exhale it down. And let it go. Very good. Inhale, pull, rip in half, reach. Hold, and then exhale, let your breath out, lower down. Good. Try three more, work at your own speed. Try slowing down that breath in. Hold with full lungs and pull, and then exhale the arms back down. Very good. Again, inhale, reach up. Hold and exhale. Relax. Perfect. That's it. Go to your next repetition when you're ready to breathe in. Hold. Exhale. Bring it down. That's it. Release momentarily. Move your fingers around. Move your shoulders around. Yep. Just coming back to reset. So we'll play with our side bending variations now. So stay with the same positioning. Keep your feet wide. Press them into the floor. And then again, take your strap. It can be wider than your shoulders to start. Just depending on how tight you feel, you can go wider as needed. On your inhale, now rip and reach up. Press up overhead. Good. Now as you exhale, can your body bend to the right? Good. Inhale, reach up. Body to the other side. Good. Inhale up. Body bends to the side. So keep ripping and then pull. Feel that outer edge of your rib and your lungs stretching. Go up on your breath in. Exhale to the other side. Good. One more. Up and then pull overhead. Reach. That's it. Stretch and side bend. Inhale up. Hold. And then exhale. Reach and side bend. Inhale up. Good, open up the strap wider. On the exhale, bend at your elbows. Try to pull the strap behind your head. So you're pulling your shoulder blades back. Inhale, press. Exhale, rip and pull down. Good, draw the lower part of your belly in. Inhale, rise. Exhale, pull. Two. Yeah, you got it. One more time. Lift. Push up overhead. Exhale. Pull, pull, pull. That's it. Try to rip it apart. Good. And then sweep it back to your lap. Let it stay up on your lap. Move your fingers a little bit. You can roll your shoulders. Get some freedom in your back. All right. Good job. And then to release some of the tension in your hands, again, inhale, hands together, interlace your fingers, slip your palms towards your chest. On the exhale, stretch them out in front of you. That's wonderful. Good. And then release them, move your wrists around a little bit, go in one direction a few times, and go in the other direction a few times. Perfect. Okay, so now let's try a little bit of motion for your legs. When you're ready to inhale, can you kick one of your legs out? So you're just pushing your heel out. Good. And then on your exhale, bring it back. Perfect. Inhale, kick your other leg. So it doesn't need to be high. Just feel the back of your knee stretching. And then exhale, bring it back. Okay, let's try a few more on each leg. Inhale, kick a leg out. Pull back on your toes. When you're ready to breathe out, draw the leg back. Switch when you're ready. On the inhale, kick opposite leg. 
and then exhale, bring the leg back. Yeah, so one at a time. You're just testing out. Can my knee stretch? Can I pull back on my toes? And then draw it back to the floor. Switch when you're ready. Inhale to kick. And then exhale to bring it down. Good. Let's try one more. Kick. And bring it in. Good. Kick. And bring it in. Okay, so now we're going to start moving up and down, forward, back. We're going to put together a little bit of what we call a sun salutation or modified for our chair. If you need a break, take it at any point. On your inhale, can you reach your arms up and out of your waist? Okay, now as you exhale, can you lean forward, rest your hands to your legs, and let your body stretch over your legs so your back starts to lengthen out. When you're ready to inhale, can you push into your feet and lift yourself back up? And then when you're ready to breathe out, can you round your back muscles and cave? Very good. And then inhale, pull forward, open up your arms, try to stick your chest to the front of the room. And then on your exhale, bring your hands back to your start. Good. Kick one leg out, take a breath in, uniting the lower and upper halves of the body. Exhale, bring it down. Good. Inhale, kick. Exhale, lower. Two more on each leg. Inhale, kick a leg, pull back on your toes, squeeze above your knee, tighten it. And then exhale, draw back, switch, inhale. Exhale, draw back. You got it, one more. In and out. In. And out. Okay, good. Inhale your arms up. Give yourself that reach. How much air can you take in? Can you hold it? And then exhale your hands down. Rest them to your legs. Let your back muscles stretch again. So when you're leaning, the legs can be wide if they need to be. Just feel that part along your back lengthening out. When you're ready to inhale, lift yourself back up. Good. On the exhale, now curl around your back out. That's it. Feel your shoulder blades spreading apart. On your inhale, move the chest forward. Open your arms up. Good. And then exhale your palms back together. All right. Now this time, we're going to use our hands to support the legs. So scoop your hands under your uh, right side leg, so I'll mirror your motion. And then once you have that, can you lift your knee towards you? And this is okay if you can't lift up. You can stay balanced on the ball of your foot. As you're inhaling, can you kick your leg out and strongly push your heel towards the front of the room? On the exhale, bend your knee, scoop it towards your body, try to hug it. Good. Again, inhale, press out. Hold your breath. Exhale, bring it in. Up towards your body. Good. Inhale, kick. And flex. Exhale, bend. And lift. Good. Two more on this leg. Inhale, kick. Flex. Exhale, bend lift. Very good. One more time. Inhale, kick. Flex. Now this time, exhale, hold it here. If you feel like you can have the stability, lift your back up a little bit. If you still feel strong, press your bottom foot down. Try releasing your arms and pushing the foot out. Squeeze above your knee and hold. Five, four, keep breathing. Three, two, one, give your knee a little hug. If it can come close to you, bring it close. You can move it around a little. And from here, you can play with your ankle, moving in both directions. That's it. 
and then let that leg go. Give a little stomp off. Okay, it's a lot of work with that side. Inhale when you're ready. Swing your arms up. So again, traction up your spine. Lift. Good. And then as you exhale, bring your hands down. Okay, take them to the opposite side leg. Scoop your hands underneath if it's possible. And then either A, balance on the ball of foot. Or B, lift the knee up slightly. As you're inhaling, now kick that leg out. Find your pain-free range of motion. On the exhale, scoop it back. Draw your knee up nice and high. Good. Inhale to kick. So feel that leg extend out in front of you. And then exhale to draw back and lift. Wonderful. Inhale. Kick. Exhale when you're ready, pull in. And if you can, hold that breath in. When you kick it out, hold, feel that flex in your foot. And then exhale, pull it back towards your body. Very nice. Again, inhale. Exhale. Good, kick in. Out. Good, now kick in will hold. So inhale, kick the leg out. Flex your foot, stay there as you exhale. Lift up through your lower back if that's possible. So if you're rounded, lift from the lower back up. Extend your leg. Now, if you're feeling more comfortable, press your heel out, release your arms. Start to feel the muscles. It takes a lot of stamina to hold this. Push the leg out and breathe. Five, four, good work. Three, two, and then one. Bring that leg up. Give it some love. You can bring it up. You can hug it. You can move it side to side. Very good. And then bring it down and let it relax and give it a couple stomps off. All right, okay, one more round of your sun salute. So inhale, circle your arms up, give yourself that lift. Hold, exhale, lean in, rest your hands, let your back body stretch. Good, option to let your neck and head relax. Good, and then inhale, lift your body weight up. On the exhale, make your spine into that cave. So you're curling your back. You're letting it round towards a chair. Hold on to your legs. That's it. And then inhale, move your chest forward. So allow the chest to travel. Pull back on your arms. Good. And then exhale back to your center. All right. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to do another position for the legs, similar to what we did the last round, but this time it's going to involve lifting and lowering. So if it feels stable for you, this time take your strap, hook it into the bottom of one of your feet, so it's in the arch. Good. Lift it, and then kick it out and try to lift your chest up. Okay, very nice. Good work. Good. Inhale here, lift the heart. So the strap is here as a little bit of an assistant. So if you, you can use it and lift the leg up and down, you can start to feel that motion. You can bend your knee, you can press out. So you can start to feel yourself pushing against the strap. Bend it, lift it. Bend it, exhale to kick. So just start to feel, you can go down with it, you can come to the center, you can try to lift it up higher. Okay, so the strap helps you find these ranges. Good, okay, and then kick the leg out to your center, lift up through your chest. Okay, now we're gonna try a rotation. Squeeze above your kneecap. Good, take your strap in the opposite hand. So you have one hand free, the opposite hand is holding out that strap. 
good. Kick the leg in front. Inhale the opposite arm up. On the exhale, try reaching it back behind you. Good. Inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, reach and stretch back. Good. Inhale, up. Exhale, reach and stretch back. Now sweep that arm up. Grab your strap. Good. Try to pull your forehead to your knee. It's not going to get there probably, but feel it out. Chin to your chest, forehead towards your knee. Three, two, let the back stretch. And then one, bend your knee, place it down. Good. And then shake it off a little. Good. That's it. So we go from simple movements to more complex so your body gets used to it and then relax that side leg. Okay. If it feels accessible, you want to test it out on the other side. Again, hook your strap. Give a little step inside it. Good. You can hold with both hands to start. Lift and now find the extension. Find that extension with your arms. You're kind of holding on like you're water skiing here. And then play with the levels. You can bend, you can kick and push against the strap. Bend, kick and push against it. So let your breath just smooth it in, smooth it out. That's it, bend and kick, bend and kick. You can try going high, you can try bringing it low. Just feel that bend and you're pushing against that strap. You add a little resistance, and kick. Three, two, one. All right, now kick it out in center. Lift up your body. Take your strap in your opposite hand. So if your left leg is out, your right hand is holding the strap. If your right leg is out, your left hand is holding the strap. And then you're lifting up from your lower back. So you're trying to get this leg soft. If you can, you're going to free up your back arm. Inhale, arm goes up. On the exhale, turn and twist the body. Again, inhale up. Exhale, turn and twist the body. That's it. Keep pushing the foot in the strap. Inhale up. Pull. Exhale, turn and twist. And then grab that strap. See if you can start to pull forward so that your elbows are coming in and you're trying to round your forehead to your leg. Doesn't need to get there. Hold for three, that's it. Stretch, two, and then bend. Good. Release your strap. Then again, rest it on your lap if you need to. Move your fingers in and out. Inhale, interlace the hands. Exhale, stretch them out. You can keep them in front or you can try reaching them overhead. Very nice. And then exhale the arms down. Good. And then sit a tiny little bit more forward. Open up your legs like a V shape. You can use your arms behind you for support. All right. You got this, okay? Right at the end. Inhale, turn your toes out. Exhale, turn your toes in. Inhale, toes turn out. Exhale, toes turn in. So now you're playing with the rotation of your hip. Inhale them away. Exhale towards. Inhale away. Exhale towards. Inhale away, good, hold. On the exhale, drag your feet into the ground so you have this wider leg position. Perfect, good. All right, last but not least, we're gonna go for our chest opening. So upper thighs rotate away, you can push your feet into the ground. Inhale, arms wide. Good, now exhale, one arm down. So same arm, same leg. You're gonna go ahead and reach this opposite arm up and over. Good. Inhale up. Widen the arms. Relax your shoulders. Exhale, opposite arm down. Now feel yourself reach and stretch. Perfect. Two more on each side. So you can go now at your own speed. Inhale up and then bend to your side. Use that forearm as an anchor and then reach and stretch. Try to lengthen out your body. Good.
up on the breath in, over as you breathe out. Good. That's it. One more time. Up. And over. Good. Up. And over. Yes. And then inhale up. Good, and then exhale, heel toe your legs in, start to cross your arms at your elbows. And then hug for your shoulders. Can you pull your shoulders forward and down? Good. Open on the breath in. And then go with the opposite arm on top. Pull your shoulders forward and down. Good. Inhale, open. Okay, now exhale, sneak your hands behind you. So watch this transition. I'm gonna change my position. Sneak your hands behind you so that they're holding this outer edge of the chair. Now I don't want you to push yourself back. I want you to crawl your feet out a little bit in front so they're still hip distance and then just check. Can you push your arms down? Is it possible to inhale and press your hips forward? Can you squeeze and lift? And then exhale, sit the body back down. Okay, so we're not pushing back, we're pushing up. Okay, so the hands press down. Try again, release your lower back. Inhale, squeeze your glutes, lift your chest. That's it, try to push your hips as far as you can in front of you. Good, and then exhale, sink it back. Good, now one more. If you're feeling comfortable, your chair is stable, hold for a few breaths. Inhale, shoulders back, drive your hips up. That's it. Full breath in, full breath out. Full breath in, and full breath out. Start to come back down. Whew, very good. Shake off your arms, shake off your wrists a little bit. Brilliant. And then inhale the arms up. And then very easy, exhale, fold. So you can let your hands rest on your legs. If you're feeling comfortable, you can let your body shift even more forward. Let the hands fall. They can be outside. They can be inside or resting up top. And then let your neck and head shake out a little bit. Good, couple more breaths. Just let your body stretch and round forward after all the motion, let it relax. Okay, and then crawl your hands one at a time back onto your legs, let your body come up. Good. And then once your body is up, do a little bit of a wiggle, and let your knees go side to side. That's it, just let some free motion. All right, okay. So now we're gonna come to our breathing and relaxation. So for this, we're gonna practice making sound in the back of our throat. So we did a little bit of this on our first session. We're gonna continue this in our next session. So when we're vibrating and making sound, there's no inherent meaning to this particular sound that we're using. We're gonna use a sound of LAM, okay? So L-A-M. So it helps to work the muscles in your throat. It helps to strengthen the muscles in your diaphragm when you're pressing out. And we really focus on that long breath out, inhale through the nose. So if you want to practice it, you can chant it mentally or you can chant it out loud. I would recommend at least making a soft sound to vibrate the muscles in your throat and uh, in your diaphragm. Okay, so it sounds like this. Lum, 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 lum. 
So you just continue to exhale with that sound. We'll inhale through the nose. Lum is the bija sound uh, for our root chakra. So we have an energy system in yoga and the base of our uh, spine is a little, little red light called your muladhara chakra. So we're making a sound to build safety, to build security and groundedness in our body today. So sit up tall, even if that means you're leaning against a chair, have your legs comfortable and your spine tall. Relax your arms, relax your chin, just slightly a little bit forward. It doesn't have to be a big motion, okay? And we'll do this 12 times. Inhale through your nose. Now just exhale regularly through your nose or your mouth as slow as you can. And feel that lower part of your belly coming to your spine. Very good. Now inhale slow as you can through your nose. Hold your breath. Now exhale. Lum, 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 lum. Inhale at the end of your breath. Let your chest, your lungs, your rib fill, hold. And again, exhale, rolling sound out. Lum, 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 lum. Inhale. Relax your eyes, hold your breath in. Exhale with sound. Lum, lum. Lum, 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 lum. Very good. Inhale. Allow the chest, ribs, and lungs to fill. Hold. Exhale. Project that sound out. Lum, 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 lum. Inhale. Relax your chin, relax your shoulders, hold your breath in without strain. Exhale, roll with sound. Lum, 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 lum. Inhale, halfway there. Notice that as your exhales get longer, your inhales are gonna increase. Hold, exhale with your sound. Lum, 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 lum. Inhale. Slow the breath in, hold it in. Exhale. Lum, 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 lum. Inhale, last three. Hold with full lungs. Exhale, roll out your sound. Lum, 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 lum. Two more, inhale. Hold your breath in. Exhale, practice moving your throat, moving the diaphragm. Lum, 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 lum. Last one, smoothest, deepest breath. Hold it in. Exhale with sound. Lum, 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 lum. Good. Inhale. Let full breath happen. Exhale freely. Start to let your body weight shift back. So now you're letting your body rest in that chair. You can let your legs extend out.
That's it. All the work is done. Hands can rest on your lap or on your legs. Keep your shoulders dropping. Full breath in. Now slowly breathe it out. Arms, legs, neck and head. Let it sink into the chair. Relax your eyes. Relax your jaw. Very good. Let a full breath happen. And then exhale completely. Let the weight of your body drop. Relax your arms, relax your legs. Let yourself just rest here now. Allowing your natural breath rhythm to come back. Feeling your arms becoming heavy with each exhalation, letting the weight of your legs drop down. Relax the muscles around your eyes and around your jaw. See if you can soften your face. And just let that breath move freely in and out. Taking in all the noises, all the sounds that you might hear in your background and just let them be there, let them pass by. Just for a few moments, let yourself rest in the seat. Letting everything become heavy, eyes, shoulders, feet. Letting your mind and body rest. Even if your mind wanders, just bring it back to your breath and to your body without judging it. Very good. And then inhale your palms together so they meet in the center of your chest. You can keep your eyes relaxed. And then exhale here, keep holding the palms together. And can you allow yourself to think of at least one thing that you have in this moment to be grateful for? Is it your family? Is it your friends? Is it all the parts of your body that were able to move well today? Anything, food, water, shelter, just start to bring that feeling of gratitude into your body. Take a breath into it. 
And as you exhale, let it move down your arms and down your legs. Maybe even allowing a soft smile on the face. That's it. Giving appreciation and thanks for all the gifts we have in this moment. One more time. Very good. And then rub your palms together, build some heat. Once they feel nice and warm, cover over your eyes, block out some of the light. Good. And then let your eyes open up gently inside your palms. That's it. So light's not as bright right now. And then bring your hands down into the center of your chest again. Inhale here. And as you exhale, bow to your own effort. Good job. 